Okay. Do 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 do. It's still April Fool's Day, but this is not an April Fool's video. Um, the, one, the one thing that actually makes valuable reviews is if somebody is not a pathetic hack. And what that means is if someone's, you know, getting paid or, you know, they're a complete and total shill and fanboy, then like, hey, everything this company makes is great. Here's an issue. This is a design flaw, and I would not make this video if I've not confirmed it fully, and I have confirmed it fully. Um, by the way, the new GFX lenses um, do not have this type of uh, split um, compression uh, mounting system for the lens hoods, but I've broken two of these Fujifilm 50 to 140 lens hoods, and also two other hoods, and I absolutely know how to take uh, care of gear better than most people do, and I'm extremely fragile with it. Some people throw their crap around and slam it and bang it. It's like, yeah, it's going to break because that person is a putz. Um, I've broken also the 35mm f2 lens hood and also another lens hood. I think it's the 56mm 1.2. But two of these, a total of four, and I've taken a knife. No, I don't know what type of plastic it actually is, but I've taken a knife to it. It does cut really easy as opposed to uh, uh, Nikkor lens hoods. Um, so Fujifilm is definitely using an inferior sort of plastic on these. The actual, and I've got digital calipers. I actually should have taken the digital calipers out, but I think it's about like one and a half millimeters thick. Yeah, right about one and a half millimeters thick. I thought since this one was broken, this tab had already snapped on the inside, that I would actually press in, see how much pressure it took to snap this one. And it took less than like a pound and a half, maybe two pounds of pressure to snap the other one. So I've broken two of these. Um, I know it's of a different grade of plastic that's actually soft. Um, this, is a, this is a design flaw. I know Fujifilm listens to these videos because I... You know, I have to be valid and complain where complaint is necessary. Everybody knows that I love the hell out of Fujifilm, and of course I do. I have all their lenses and all their GFX lenses, specifically the GF mount, but there is a design flaw on this, and um, it's one of two things or a combination of two things. Um, one, I know it's of a much softer plastic than the Nikkor lens hoods. And by the way, for comparison, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds literally, of Nikon lenses and all their respective lens hoods. And in a span of 20 years, I maybe have broken two. And I think one of those was one that I got from some other putts and it was already broken, so who knows how that putts treated it. Um, that's out of many hundreds of Nikon lenses, but out of... How many Fujifilm lenses do I own? I don't know like 40-some lenses, including GFX lenses, in a span of a couple, three years, I've already broken four of them. So, um, yeah, Fujifilm needs to use a different type of uh, plastic resin. I don't know what specific uh, designation this is, but uh, considering that this, this uh, 50 to 140, for example, is cast from a single piece. I do know, since I have all the damn Fujifilm lenses, that there are two-piece Fujifilm lens hoods where the second or the interior piece is screwed in. And that's a very nice lens hood. And this is cast from a single piece of injection molding. But they need to use a superior... They could use the same sort of cheap plastic if they change the, uh, the, uh, the mounting design such that the tabs... You see, let me break off this tab since this hood is completely damaged. Actually, it's, it's destroyed. It's useless. You see how easy that snapped off? You can see how thin that is. Let me hold that up to my hand for comparison. Very, very thin where it actually breaks. And let me actually show you. And this is the thicker part right here in the middle. Let me see how much pressure it takes to snap this. And it's not much. Yeah. It actually uh, completely gave way, even though it didn't snap. Very easy. But Fujifilm needs to redesign the lens hoods. Uh, for this and several they need to change the material. They could do one or both or one or the other. Either improve the injection molding material 
on these lens hoods or change use the same material and change the designs because this is a design flaw and uh, like I said I literally know how to treat camera gear better than most people and the fact that within a very short period of time very short I've managed to uh, ruin two of these lens hoods for the 50 to 140 yeah 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 on a brighter note however <laughs> All of Fujifilm's modern lenses, the lenses themselves, are made better than like the um, the uh, modern AFS. Uh, and the, I mean, Nikon still makes some super awesome ultra hardcore Japanese uh, primes, like 300 millimeter 2.8, the super expensive 70 to 200 2.8 VR2, you know, 400 millimeter 2.8, 500 millimeter 4. So, yeah, I mean, not, but you know. Talking about the mass of Nikon lenses, Fujifilm lenses are actually made a lot better than that. So I'm not dissing Fujifilm lenses at all. What I'm doing is saying that there was a design flaw shortcut that was made on the person that went with the type of plastic, of which designation I don't know, for the, uh, the lens hood material for Fujifilm lenses. Also, to this... Yeah, that should have not have been used. Not so thin. They could have actually made it the same... But these uh, locking pieces are way too thin. Right there, that is, that is just right at a hair over a millimeter. Just a hair. And uh, that's a design flaw. It's not my opinion that it's a design flaw. Or my feeling. It's a fact. It's a design flaw. So, You know, I like videos like this because people think, Oh, everything that guy says is just so... Happy positive about Fujifilm, which it is, but I mean, I, I mean that really. Um, but if I got something to legitimately complain about, it's like, yeah, I'm 100% certain before I make this video that I'm 100% accurate. And I am 100% accurate on this video. Homie has himself many hundreds of lenses. Many, many, many hundreds of lenses. And uh, yeah, that's a design flaw. Just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I hope somebody in uh, Fujifilm in Japan hey! is watching this video. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you for, so much for the wonderful products, but you need to fix this problem. Fix it. Wait for it. Fix this problem, because it's a problem. Bye.